Friday. Uh, been kind of a slow week. Not really much going on. I don't really have anything going on tonight other than rinsing off the blue F-150, so I'm just kind of vlogging as I go. Because uh, I didn't get a chance to do anything else. Uh, earlier this week, I kind of fell victim to a stomach virus. And that kind of knocked me down for a couple of days. So, needless to say, wasn't much work getting done. Uh, the Red F-150 has an issue with the door handle. I gotta work on that. I gotta change the oil in this. Also, I'm getting a dent side brought to me sometime in the near future. I don't know when, but it's sometime soon. He wanted to know when I when he wanted me to bring when, we, when he wanted to bring when he wanted me to bring it to uh, to have it. And I said, just bring it any time that you want to. I said, just leave it with me for a couple of weeks at least. And it has some issues. Oh yeah, it's not real dirty. So usually if it's not real dirty, I'll just take and run a sponge over it and rinse it and just be, be done with it. And that's the case this night. But anyway, it's 78 F-150 and it has some problems idling. Uh, first I thought it was in the carburetor. Someone's already thrown a carburetor at it, so I'll have to dig into that, see exactly what's wrong with it. it has some wiring problems. He said the dash lights don't work. And I told him it could be as simple as a fuse, or it could be a wire that's been cut. It could be a number of things. Kind of like my buddy's F-250 that I had. It's kind of like that. It gets a laundry list. I just things done to it. He wants it done right. And I told him, well, I can do that. I won't need my stool. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Flicking off the hood. Be okay. Kind of windy. Of course, you could probably tell. I'm using a windsock on the camera. Yeah, and I tried to insulate it a little extra. I don't know how well it's going to work. Better than nothing. So it's been kind of a long week. I mowed earlier and had some other odds and ends to do. So yeah, I'm actually getting a late start. Here it is, 25 after seven. Off camera already did the wheels. So yeah, aside from being sick for a day and a half and almost puking my guts up at work, uh, seem to be better now. Shout out to Infringinator. I know you sent me a couple emails here a couple of weeks ago and I never had gotten around to answering them. Hang with me, I'll get to answering them. Uh, I take it now that you're a realtor, that you've passed all your board exams and everything, congratulations, pretty awesome. 
by the way. I hope that's, I hope that turns into a successful uh, mission, venture. Once again, I'm just sorry, I'm kind of slow, I kind of lag at things like that, but I will get back to you. <laughs> but, you know, I hope you do well in the real estate business. time you saw me uh, when I was here uh, doing the power window switch uh, video uh, it was like 54 degrees that day and the day after it was 65 and the day after that it was 65 and today it's 70 and the next week uh, it has, we're, we're in the forecast for 80 degree weather. Bring it on, is what I say. I am just tired of 30s, 40s. That has just went on way too long this year. Oh yeah, and another shout out to YouTube user, see if I can say it right. I have a hard time with it. I follow on Instagram and I subscribe on YouTube. I don't remember if you subscribe to me or not. But anyway, shout out to Ozzy, Ozzy, Oslo. Yes, uh, you made a video, made a comment in your video that hey, how you had a fusion and how you missed it when you traded it. Well, you know, I know how you feel because I kind of missed my flex once I traded it. But it had problems. If I'd have kept it, it would just went, it would have just went on and on and just got worse. Uh, air conditioning didn't work, and I was just scared to death. Time and chain, or not so much time and chain, but the water pump was gonna go out of it. And when that happened, um, of course, you know, it dumps the engine full of coolant, and you gotta put an engine in it. But I think you traded for a Mazda CX-5. Uh, it's a really cool looking vehicle. I've looked at a couple of them myself. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I know my Fusion's going somewhere. I haven't touched it in a month, by the way. And remember my carpet bed liner that I made several years back? It's still hanging in there. Uh, every now and then I have to glue a piece back up. Other than that, it's still in pretty good shape, actually. It held up a lot longer than I thought that it would. The support struts didn't fare so well, though. They're about wore out. Spray a little tire foam on. It was a commercial when, when it came out, first came out years ago. It was an old beat up car and they sprayed it on and said, one spray and tires look great. Kind of makes you wish they invented car foam, doesn't it? Of course, the stuff evolved through the years. to roll the hoses up put the vacuum away and we're done well anyway thanks for hanging out with me on a friday night and yeah, thanks for watching